Hello everybody, my name is Drooper and welcome back to Undertale. It has been a little bit, but we're back. Last episode, we fought off Papyrus and went to Rubies with Sans. And now, yeah, we're, we're, we're um, gonna date Papyrus. So, yeah, let's do that. Oh. I can understand uh, which one's Sans and which one's Papyrus's room. Alright, hello Papyrus. Welcome to Zenic. What? Welcome to Zenic, my house. Enjoy and take your time. What's... That's my room! If you finish looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they date. No, I don't want to go inside yet. There's a book. A joke book. <laughs> Inside the joke book was a quantum physics. Ooh. Inside the quantum physics was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics. Okay. You decide to <laughs> Sans. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program. Metaton. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Okay. It's a dirty sock with serious notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Oh, Gert. Don't put it back down. Move it. Oh, Gert. You moved it two inches. Move it into your room. Oh, Gert. And don't bring it back. Oh, Gert. It's still here. <laughs> Did you just say not to bring it back into my room? Forget it. So good. Oh, jeez. What are you doing? Impressed? I created the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses. <laughs> Sands! Plaguing my life with incidental music. Yeah, that definitely sands room then. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in spring. <laughs> you touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Sands, can I come in? A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. The door is locked. Sands, open up. I want to see what's inside of your quantum physics looking room. All right, let, let's, let's go. That's my room. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right, let's do it. Oh, jeez. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Actually, technically it was yesterday, you're not gonna lie. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while it's loose. Alright. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Okay, dating start. Jeez. Oh, Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your dating board or dating hub. Monday. Oh my god. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask him on a date. <laughs> Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Sure. I <laughs> think there's an egg. <laughs> really? <laughs> what was that? Sounds like an undying. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. We're close. 
clothing? That bandana around your head? You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning. I think we broke the pirates. No! You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. <laughs> you broke the pirates. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been be beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath the regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think of my secret style? No! A genuine compliment! Oh my god, are we just gonna kill him of date power? However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. The shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Extra tip, all clothing articles be improved this way. I swear this hat is like a frying pan. My hat? My hat. My hat! Yeah! <laughs> well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. <laughs> Spaghetti! <laughs> Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finally aged in an oak cask. And cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Your face reflects the ice cream. It tastes indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> I broke it. What is this game? Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. <laughs> everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Gentlemen, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I the great Papyrus. I failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper. And your intense love for me! A dark prison of fashion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. An act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. Oh. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. Oh, we got a new number finally. You can call me anytime. That's not. Well, gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, it's just rushed so much. Oh, it's just going quiet, but okay. It's over here. Oh, it's a closet. Huh, at least he's neat. He's got a computer. Oh, okay. Back. 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 All right, well, <coughs> that hurt my throat. That hurt my throat. All right, let's do this. Let's say rocks. Ooh. 
Right, what's this? An egg, an, another echo found. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Okay. Ah! Ooh, what's this? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Sure, I don't... Okay. I don't know. What, what's that gonna do? Ooh, that's, that knocks you off. Okay. I didn't think I was able to... Ooh. What's a shadow? Ooh. Hi, Hi Undyne. Oh, this is Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I find him? Yes, of course I did. And I fought them violently. Valiantly, I mean. What? Did I catch them? Well, no. I tried very hard on dying, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the hu- Okay, wait. You're going to take the human soul yourself. But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see. You see. I understand. I'll help you in any way you any way I can. Oh. Uh. Is that a blue thing? Oh, this is interesting. I'm scared of Undyne, man. Oh, he disappeared into... Okay. Ooh, safe one. Whoa, jeez, what are you doing here? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What did you do to get her attention? Huh? Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> okay. All right, trippy boy. Feeling a dread hangs over you. Alright, right, the hard way of the waterfall. What's this? What the heck? Ah! So, I messed that up. Very. Oh, the flowers now. Cool. I'm a very smart person. How did that kid get a, that pink thing? What? Aaron flexes in. Act. Uh, flex. You flex, Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Oh. Okay. And then we flex again. We flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for, your, for you too. I won't lose though. Whoa. He flex, Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> you won. <laughs> well, that's nice. All right, what's this pink? Okay. What's this sign? Some mushrooms. What? What is this for? Uh, I'm trying to understand what to do here. What is this? Oh. number. It was easy. And I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? Uh, yeah. So you are wearing a bandana. Got it. Wink, wink. <laughs> Why did I say that? Have a nice day. All right. Uh, I'm going to immediately take off that bandana. Um... <laughs> Wait. 
a little bandage. Um, just put on the old tutu. Alright, well, okay. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. You hoped with all your heart your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. So, wishing with oh, okay. oh, no. <laughs> what are you? Uh, huh. Clean? Yeah, sure, anything. Green means clean. Okay, should I get green stuff? Got it. I don't care. That was easy. I just gotta get his green pellet things. Oh. Well then. What's this? Uh, it's a dock. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Okay. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they were had they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. Okay. Alright, I'm not gonna read all these. Then. What the? Ooh, music's stopping. And we're back in the shadows. Oh. And she found us! Oh, jeez, just run! Mm -hmm. Run! Whoa! No! Oh my god, so difficult. Oh, no, I'm dead. Okay. Huh. Oh. This is scary, man. Um. <laughs> Hello there, monster kid. <laughs> she just doesn't care anymore. All right. Oh, that scared me, man. Oh. Get rid of that. Uh, bicycle. Bicycle. I eat one half of it? Wait, is there... Huh, that's interesting. Um, I can't... Okay. Hello there. Yo, did you see that? I'm done, just... Touch me! I've never washed my face again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Yeah, I'm sure. Stop falling. I'm sure we'll see her again. Definitely. Ooh, okay, safe point. And she has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. All right. All right. Oh my god, that scared me, man. Squeak. Oh, okay. The mouse hole. Hi, right, Sans! What's up? I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use the premium telescope, but since I know you, you could use it for free. How's about it? Sure. It's gonna be like Undyne just sitting there. Who are you? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? I mean, maybe. Uh -huh. Oh! Well, I got a black guy from Undyne then, huh? I didn't even notice that. That's good. Right. Okay. Let's look a bit around. Hello, little rubber ducky. I don't know why that's there. I feel like this changes. This is a game-changing part. Oh, cool. A little vendor. 
I'm relocating my store, but there are still some. There's still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get customers to come back. Wow. Nice. I, I have 74. Yonk. Okay. Alright, let's get another one. Yep, I am one short. Dang. Alright. The box contains two cards. Take a card. Take. Got a punch card. Get back. Hey, <laughs> one card. Alright. So this was definitely not a game changing part. Which is good. I'm glad. Because I knew that next part was definitely going to be something that I had to do. Because they changed music, so I was like, mm, there's something here. I don't want to run into Undyne again, because I'm really not liking her. She is scary. Oh. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know her opinion of you is very murdery. Well, worried not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. I am not a cruel person. I strive to be comforting and pleasant. Papyrus, it smells like the moon. So because of my inherent goodness, I told her that you were not wearing a bandana, even though you told me you were. Instead, I made something up. I told you were wearing a dusty. Wow. Oh my god, Papyrus. It pained me to say, to tell such a before a bold-faced lie. I know you would never, ever wear a dusty tube. She's Papyrus, and that's why she <laughs> made up a dusty tube. All right, well, these attacks are interesting. This is the power that the humans feared. Hmm. Oh, okay, now I'm just... I can't move. What is that thing? Oh. Hey there. Notice you were here. I'm Onion Sand. Onion Sand, you here? Are you just gonna... You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Oh, stop following me. Even now the water's getting so shallow here. I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. And then the aquarium is full anyway, so... Even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? Oh, jeez. I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Stop all the... Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. I'm Waterfall. Oh, in Waterfall. I thought it said I'm Waterfall. Okay. Ugh. Who are you? Hum? You hum a sad song. Follow your melody. Really? Oh, okay. I got a hum. That's it. song echoes down the corridor. You play along. Only the first eight are fine. There's a piano here. Light? Yes. Hold up. Okay. power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And in, in 
incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, like papyrus stuff. If only for a few moments, a human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Ooh, that, that hints to genocide. It's a statue. The structure's at its feet. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Bye! Please take one. Sure, I'll take an umbrella. Of course. Oh, well, cool. now I have a little umbrella. Oh, I can see my reflection on there. Hey, monster child! Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! You're, you're just following behind anyway. You're not gonna... Ooh, okay. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would bet I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up, huh? Another flower. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. I don't care. We beat up all the teachers. Cool. Amazing. Ah. Stop talking. Ooh. <clears throat> Um, oh, okay. This is odd. What are you doing? All right. This is odd. Here, take an umbrella. Ah, yeah, let's put back the umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. <sighs> Alright, safe point. Good. The sound of muffled rain. <laughs> the sound of muffled rain on the cave top. Fills you with determination. All right. Oh, shadowy again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. More uh oh. Come on, get. Very concentrating, like. Oh my god, this is Oh, okay, we're slowly going away from her again. Uh. Oh jeez. Now 
this is interesting. Oh, we're falling now. Bye. <laughs> it sounds like it came from over here. Oh. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Joe, huh? That's a nice name. Oh no, my name. Oh, it's Flowey, huh? What? What the heck? Uh, a bunch of garbage. That was a garbage. Wait a fruit. Ooh, what? Like garbage from the floor? Alright, save point. Unfortunately, guys, that is all the time I have for today. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new. And hit the little bell button so you get notified on any more Undertale that I post. And I'll see you next time.